Hello, this is Kevin Lyrics and welcome to today's session. Do you wish to know how to run bibliometric data analysis using the R Studio, specifically using the Biblio Shine? Then you would enjoy the following series of Kevin Lyrics videos on bibliometric data analysis right here on this channel. And so if you've not yet subscribed to the channel, we encourage you to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the post notification bell so you do not miss any of such videos. And if you are a returning subscriber, we encourage you to watch all the series so as you can be able to do your own volumetric data analysis. Now, this current series or the first series is to be able to know how to build a bibliometric data for your bibliometric data analysis. And so if you watch this particular video right to the very end, you'll be able to know how to build your own bibliometric data or your own bibliometric data analysis. Now, the first thing you want to take note of or you want to consider when you want to build a bibliometric data is first to look at your potential research topic. So once you have your research topic, then you can apply the following key formula or strategy to be able to build your own bibliometric data analysis. Yeah, so assuming that we have this particular research topic in mind, the impact of physical activity on diabetes outcome. Now we want to carve out keywords so as to build our bibliometric data. And so looking at a topic carefully, three keywords come to mind, i.e. impact, physical activity, and diabetes status or diabetic outcome. Now, the next thing after identifying your keywords is to find synonyms for those keywords and so synonyms that comes to mind readily about impact is effect is association is relationship and you can think about as many other keywords that comes to mind now when it comes to physical activity we can also consider exercise then when we come to diabetes we can talk about or we can look at or consider type 2 diabetes or T2DM, which is the short form of type 2 diabetes mellitus, or diabetes outcome. So basically, these are going to be uh, keywords that we are going to search in our databases. And so the next thing you want to consider after identifying your keywords from the topic is to be able to identify databases where you're going to search for your um, articles. So there are a number of databases that you can consider. You can look at PubMed. We can consider um, Snapis. We can look at Medline. We can also consider Web of Science and and many more. So you may want to do your own personal research to be able to identify potential databases that would help you be able to do your own bibliometric data or building your own bibliometric data yes so basically after identifying your keywords and forming your search strategy now you're going to copy each of this and then go to um, your database so for the purpose of this particular video we're going to use the PubMed for our demonstration and so you just type in this URL, PubMed, and then you search. 
and then now you copy and paste your keywords search strategy and you click on search and we have how many hits we have about 251,821 so this is the outcome for the first search now we click on the advanced search and then you see that our search history query is presented here for us now we go to, we go and copy our second keyword search and then we paste and then we click on search and then it gives us 29755 now our next search query is diabetes and diabetes outcome so we just copy that and paste and then we click on search and then it gives us 1900.760 so now we're going to combine is three search queries by using a boolean operators so number one and number two and number three and then we click on search and here we have we have 2744 so basically this is how you could combine all the individual search strategies and be able to come out with a combined one. Now, for us to build our bibliometric data, we're going to click on Save. And then we select All Result. And then the format in which we want it to be is we want it to be in PubMed. So we click on PubMed and then we click on Create File. Immediately we click on Create File, you can see right here it is being downloaded. And so once the download is complete, then you have been able to successfully create your bibliometric data for your own bibliometric data analysis. So basically, this is how you can be able to build your own bibliometric data or bibliometric data analysis. First of all, you have to identify your research topic, identify keywords, find synonyms for them, combine them using the Boolean operators or search them individually in PubMed. That is, if that is the database you want to use, the other databases that you could use. And mention was made of Sparpus, Web of Science, among others. Then, after searching and combining all your search strategies, you click on Save, and you follow the prompts just as was done earlier. If you find content such as this useful, we encourage you to subscribe, like, share these videos, so others can also benefit who are also within your friend zone. Now, in our next video, we're going to proceed to run a bibliometric analysis using the R Studio. And so you want to watch that particular video too. Until we meet again, this is Kevin Lyrics, and it's a bye.